Hey, what's up everybody? It's Brandon with Tool Empire back at you with another video. Um, this is different than what I had planned on. I had a, well, a group of viewers request a certain video multiple times and we were talking back and forth of what exactly they meant. And um, they wanted a video of my top five most tools that were the most efficient, that made you a more, a more efficient tech. Now when I say efficient, I don't mean getting it done in 30 minutes but not getting it done right. These tools help you do the job correctly but in a timely fashion. Um, and I came up with six actually. Um, just now I come up with a sixth one that I think is the one of the most genius ideas I've ever seen for a tool. So um, we're gonna go ahead and kick this one off. First one is wobble sockets. Now I know there's people on both sides of the fence about wobble sockets. Uh, even in this, even in the shop with me, there's a couple old timers that they hate them. Um, these are by far the first tool I would buy um, after your basic sockets and basic stuff is wobble sockets. Now, mine are Matco. Uh, got no complaints on them. Uh, a lot of the guys I work with in the same field have uh, gray pneumatic. I think is the brand or CP. I think one of those two. Well, actually, both of them. They both they both have the brand. Uh, Sun X. I've seen some guys with Sun X. Um, I don't think I've ever met anybody that had Snap-on wobbles that I'm aware of. I don't know why. I don't know if they're crappy or what. I don't know anything about them. So, um, Maco ones. I love them. The most common ones, obviously, on Caterpillar equipment. 13, uh, 16, and 18. And basically, these are all 3 8 I don't have any half inch, unfortunately. Um, basically, they're just, uh, I just got grease all over my camera. <laughs> um, they're 3 8 drive wobbly sockets. I know a lot of people use those little universals. I don't even have one of those. Uh, I bought these first couple months on the, on the job and never looked back. I love these things. One of these days, I will get a half inch set whenever I win the lottery, probably. <laughs> Um, but that's my first and foremost make you more efficient tech but that's in my opinion all of these tools are in my opinion there's a lot of people that hate these things so it's a toss up give them a shot if you don't like them sell them back to the tool truck number two ratchet wrenches I freaking love the Mac wrenches any Mac wrenches the handles on them I, I, I just love Mac wrenches now I don't have a whole lot of them I think I've only got five or six uh, wrenches and they're all ratchet wrenches. This one's just the 13 millimeter. Um, these things are by far my favorite wrench. Uh, they got the reversible ratchet wrench. My Northern Tool ones are not reversible. You gotta flip the wrench over. These also aren't the, the swivel head on the box end. Um, I don't really like those all that much, but I haven't had the opportunity to use them enough because I don't have any. I've only ever bummed those before, so. I don't, I don't really care for those. Um, this is the number two tool, ratchet wrenches, whatever brand you can afford, it don't matter. I know I've never had, personally had the Harbor Freight ones, but anybody I know that does, has had them, they hate them. So, might shy away from the Harbor Freight ones. I got a couple of the Northern Tool ones. I haven't broke one yet, but they're not reversible is my only complaint, and they got a big bulky handle. Um, I can show you. Now, obviously, this is going to be a 16 millimeter versus a, a 13 millimeter. But you can see the difference here, maybe. They're big and bulky, and this is actually a swivel, and I don't really, honestly, I don't like that at all. And these are clutch, Northern Tool. Um, but these ratchet wrenches are to die for especially when you get in a little bitty area that literally all you can do is is do that right there and get it in those three fingers and just go to town um, it's the bomb diggity so that's the number two tool number three is torque adapters is what i know them as um i don't know of any other name for them i only have a 16 and 18 uh, that's all I've ever needed, and I bought these both off of Matco. I bought a different brand that I want to say was um, Nico or something like that off of Amazon that was not. I broke one. I, I would not recommend those. Uh, but these Matco ones are amazing. Um, basically, what you do, take the torque wrench. Let me get my 3 out here. 
and it don't even have to be torquing it. It's just something you can't really get a wrench on. But so you take your your torque wrench. Here's my 3 8 drive torque wrench. You put it on there. You get it down in a little area, and it goes all the way around. Flexes. You got to take it off every time. But I mean, it's a it's a lifesaver. And and that's the reason why this tool, not necessarily for speed on this tool, but I believe in torquing stuff. I believe in doing a professional job to the best of my ability. So if something calls for a torque spec, or even if it doesn't, and there's generic torque, it's getting torqued. Uh, these work really well on pumps and, and uh, areas you can't really get to. Love those. These are Matco. Um, like I said, no complaints, lifetime warranty. The part number on these things, on the 18 millimeter, is BTA18M, and the uh, 16 is BTA16M. Like I said, Matco, they're bomb diggity too. Um, number three, and these are new to me. Never seen these before, before I moved to this second Holt shop. These are wire strippers. Uh, these were bought off the Snap-on truck. They're tool-aid. And basically how they work is you just stick the wire in the end of it right there and um, go Kozinga. I mean, it's bad at the moment. Matter of fact, I'm gonna get a wire and do it right now. If I got one I'm willing to sacrifice, here we go. So let me get some dikes. Cut this little breakout harness I was making out. So there's the wire right there. Get this camera to focus. There we go. Boom. These things are awesome. I'd never seen these before. I've seen the other ones that were kind of sideways where you put the wire in and it goes down and breaks it. Um, and I like those too. I did not know that. These things actually got cutters on them. I literally just saw that. They got cutters down here in the handle. I've only had these things for three days. Bought them off snap on truck. Uh, these things are awesome. Uh, I think they were $32, $32.99, something like that. Tool aid. Um, I'm sure you can find them cheaper than that on Amazon. Um, but these are freaking sweet and they're adjustable where you can adjust the thickness of this, the blade distance and they have a measurement. So if you need to make quarter inch, half inch, three quarter inch, whatever, I don't, I would never need that. But, um, these are awesome. I'm going to, I'll try to look on Amazon and put a link to those in the description below if I can find them on Amazon cheaper. The next tool are also electrical tools. Now I bought these through CAT and they um, are freaking sweet. Okay, so here's your normal multimeter lead. You don't need to see the whole thing. You, I'm sure you know what a multimeter lead looks like, so I only need one. So let's put my ground cable back up. So these are called test spoons. You take your multimeter lead right here, maybe. Take your test spoon, you stab it on there, and then your spoon that has a, uh, obviously a spoon shape, so you got your Deutsch connectors that you don't really want to move, remove the wire of to test. Take your Deutsch connector and in the back of it, you stab the wire down in around the wire and it goes down and touches the pin and then you can just leave it there. And you can run way over here and put your ground on or whatever you need to do. Um, I love doing electrical stuff. My main background is in electrical stuff. Uh, I say I love it. Sometimes it kicks me in the rear. But um, these things are awesome. So the part number, and I bought, like I said, I bought them at Holt Cat. You can go to any cat dealership. I don't know if you can find them online. Actually, no, I've looked on Amazon and I couldn't find them. But I've learned that there's a lot of people on YouTube that can find stuff on Amazon faster than I can. Or better than I can. Um, 7X 1708 is the part number on one of them, and then 7X 1709 is the part number on them. Now these were 50 bucks, but I'm talking about efficiency. I'm talking about being able to test wires accurately and speed. Awesome, awesome. Um, and the next, I know I'm going to catch flack for because. I've already told one of my other techs what I was going to put in the video, and they said that you don't have to have that. People have been doing it for doing this job for 20 years without these, 
and blah, 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 blah. Well, I'm always looking for improvement. So, cordless impacts. I got a 3 8 and then I got the smaller half inch. Mac has a bigger half inch and a smaller one. Um, they're basically DeWalt. They even say DeWalt right there on the battery. Um, these things are amazing. They, they do not, I mean the battery life, the charge speed, how fast they charge, how much time they save you because you don't have to drag a hose. And nine times out of 10, there ain't nothing you can't break loose with a 3 8 cordless that you can break with loose with a 3 8 um, air impact in my experience so um, but this for me is the number one tool for speed and efficiency um, I know if y'all seen in my other videos for the longest time I just had a Makita uh, bit receiving impact that I stuck a 3 8 chuck in and it helped but I would always have to have a ratchet with the same size socket on it with me to actually do the initial brake loose or get it tight after I ran it down with the Makita which I mean it still saved time but these these right here are just amazing now they're expensive they're not cheap um, they only have a one year warranty my only complaint I had no complaints on the half inch one the Mac one is I believe that the spec 3 8 anvil is not correct and my Mac guy Monday um, is actually going to take this one give me a loan or take this one send it back to Mac and tell him look I've changed the rings once a week and my sockets still fall off. It don't matter if they're in, what brand they are. No, I don't use chrome. I don't even have, watch YouTube, I don't have chrome sockets for the most part. Um, it don't matter if it's Harbor Freight, Sunex, Tecton, Matco, Mac, Snap-on, Cornwell, all the sockets I put on this still come off. Um, so I think the anvil is the wrong size and, and all the other people I know of in my shop that have the same impact have the same problem but they just keep changing their rings and I'm like why are you going to do the same thing over and over again expecting a different result that's insanity you're not going to get a freaking new result so my mad guy is going to take it to see what he can do even if he's got to change the anvil from a pneumatic one because if you take a pneumatic Mac that this guy over here has they don't come off of and it was he bought this impact and his pneumatic one the same day and they supposedly have the same anvil in them. Uh, the little shorter, stubby 3 8 impact that's pretty freaking sweet. I want one. Um, so that's my only complaint on the Mac ones. Uh, the, the only brand of cordless impacts that I think absolutely sucks is the Harbor Freight ones. Uh, sorry about you. Uh, Y'all know I've, I've praised Harbor Freight in the past, but those, the, those definitely not. Um, the Matco one, is the only one I have personal experience with. Love it. Uh, Snap-on, the smaller Snap-on ones that got the trigger that goes reverse and forward. There's two or three techs in my other shop that had that that loved it. Um, like I said, I don't have personal experience with that one though. The Matco one I do. Um, so that's pretty much it for speed and efficiency as far as tools go. But the most efficient tool you can possibly have is your knowledge. And I am learning that. Um, I don't know everything about this stuff. I ain't been doing it too long. It, it, uh, sorry, I don't know what that sound was. Um, if you don't know what you're doing, you can't do things efficiently. I had a teller handler in here the other day that I'd never touched one before and had to do a complete, every, every harness on it had to be changed. And the schematic that I, or not the schematic, but the picture of where the harness was ran that I could see was not correct. Um, and if I would have opened my damn mouth and asked a senior tech a question, the machine would have been out of here about a week sooner than it was. Um, but I learned from it. I learned to speak up. Um, if you don't know what you're doing, you can't do the job efficiently. But that doesn't mean you don't need to do the job. That doesn't mean you, you didn't, don't need to be doing this for a living. Everybody's got to start somewhere. Me, I am lucky. I got guys in, in my old shop and my new shop been doing this kind of stuff for a long time and are very helpful. My supervisor is great. Um, my manager, they helped me learn a lot about stuff that I had no idea. Hydraulic systems, I didn't know crap about coming into this. Electrical, pretty much handle that. Uh, engines, eh, pretty much. Um, but 
I'm mechanically inclined and I'm open to learning. All the training, if your employer has any training that you can take, I say jump at it. I've, I've gone to Half Price Books actually and found old cat manuals and bought them for like three bucks and I read them all the time because I want to be able to do my job efficiently for two reasons. One, I like the satisfaction of taking a machine to pieces, fixing it, putting it back together and watching it leave on the customer's trailer. Two, I get to make more money in the future. I get raises. So I'm always about making money. So I know this is a shorter video than normal today, but uh, I've been dealing with some personal issues. That's why I haven't made a video and I'm sorry guys, but I've uh, been, like I said, dealing with some personal issues. So here's to the guys that recommended this video. They said they didn't want me to tag their names in it. So I don't understand why, uh, but anyways, Hope y'all have a good one. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe, and I'll be back at y'all next week.